To be a mermaid, apply foundation, and then a pearly earring and a starfish earring because just like aquamarine, you need a starfish on your ear to whisper you secrets and tell you you look beautiful all day long. Okay, okay. So take the Urban Decay Electric Palette or any colorful eyeshadow because that's what we're going to be using today, and a fishnet and put it on your face. Okay, so I cut eye holes because I could not see for my life. And what you want to do is take any colored eyeshadow. I chose the purple eyeshadow. I will put a picture so you can see. And instead of like brushing it, you want to stipple it in stippling motions. And try not to move the fishnet because if you do, you mess up the design. So I took Urban, which is a purple color, and jilted the pink color. And I put it on my cheekbones, my forehead, and my chin. And now I'm taking the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I'm applying that on my eyebrows as a base because I did an ombre effect and I used the same two colors. I actually used Savage which is a lighter shade of pink and I used the same urban purple color because I just like the Savage color better for the brows because it's more of a matte shadow. And this was my first time doing this, so I went back and forth with my brows a lot. And I wish they came out a little bit brighter. I wish I had like the sugar pill palette because their eyeshadows are really pigmented. Or even like the Morphe palettes or something. But I still think my brows turned out pretty good. Now I'm doing the halo eyeshadow effect and basically what you do is you take your crease color and you bring it along the inner corners and outer corner of your eye as well as onto your lid and then you put a different color in the middle of your eye. So I chose the color savage and I just applied that really heavy on my crease using windshield wiper motions. And I'm starting to pack it on my lid. Honestly, when doing this mermaid, I didn't know what exactly I was going to do. That's why I'm going back and forth a lot. But I knew I wanted it to be pink and purple and pretty. So I'm continuing to blend fixing the outer corner and then I'm going in with a Morphe brush and I'm just blending it out a little bit better before I apply the silver. So now I'm just going in with the shade Revolt. It's really pretty, really silvery and glittery and perfect. And just apply that in the center of your lid. and go in with a little bit more Savage if you need to in the inner corner and outer corner of your lid to really blend it out better. Now I go in and fix my brows a little bit more because I wanted them darker. I went ahead and applied my false eyelashes off camera as well as black and white eyeliner. I chose white just to make the eye look pop a little bit. 
Then I took NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and applied it on my lower lash line as well as put mascara on my bottom lashes and I used the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. Then I took Savage and put it on my nose and my cheeks to give my mermaid a pink glow. Now I'm taking Revolt on my nose, my lids, and my cheekbones. I'm taking my Moonchild palette and going in with blue ice and pink heart on my nose. Then I apply Lucky Horseshoe on my cheeks as a purple highlight since my scales are purple. Now I'm taking blue ice and applying that on my eyebrow bow. Now I'm going in with the color fringe and I'm applying it on my bottom lash line to give it a little bit of color. And now it's time for glitter! So this part's pretty random. Basically I just took eyelash glue and started putting it in places where I wanted the glitter to be. But I don't recommend using eyelash glue. Try using a glitter glue instead because this stuff is really sticky and it just feels weird when you move around. I went back and forth between the silver and pink glitter and I just placed it randomly and patted it on. I started drawing a design with white eyeliner, but I ended up just drawing a bunch of random freckles all over my face and I put them on the eye area as well because, I don't know, I just felt like I needed it. I also started to draw a coral-like design, basically branching little lines that just go out randomly. but. I don't really like it. I wish I wouldn't have done this part and just covered my chest in glitter, but you know. Then I drew a random line above my brow and below as well as freckles because I love freckles. Now I'm going in with the color Freak and I am applying it all over my shoulder because I thought Mermaid, seaweed, you know, type vibe. I even applied it on my coral a little bit, but I ended up just, you know, putting it random places. And it kind of looks cool and patchy. Then I applied the urban shade as well. And then I added more glitter to my neck. And then I applied a silver glitter on one side of my cheek and pink on my other side and pink and silver on my forehead and honestly it makes the scales pop but I wish I would have just done silver on my cheeks instead of pink and silver and then I added a little scale design on my shoulder once I've covered myself in glitter I just take the Katy Perry lipstick in the shade Cosmo Kitty and apply it all over my lips And then I add a lip gloss and a silver glitter on top. Grab a cute wig, some accessories, and you're a mermaid. First step to being an injured deer is you need ears. So what I did is I drew them on a piece of paper, cut it out, attached it to a bobby pin, and there you go, you got ears. So now I'm taking my Morphe brush and I'm taking this warm tone brown and I'm putting it all over my crease. This color is really pretty and makes a really great transition shade and I wanted to do a lot of browns for this look because we're a deer, Avi, so. Fix in my ear. Now I'm taking this brown shade and I'm putting it in my crease, in the very, very, very inner part of my crease. And I'm doing this to give it some depth. And 
and I'm making a V shape you'll start to see like I'm taking that color and I'm just making a V just so I can give my look a little bit more dimension Now I'm just taking this tan shade and applying it all over my lid. Then I'm going in and fixing the crease again, blending it out with that darker brown shade. And now I'm taking this shimmery color and looking for my makeup brush but realizing it was in my lap this whole entire time. Duh. So now I'm applying that shimmery color all in the inner corner of my eye. Now I'm just applying that same shimmery color all over my brow bone because girl, deer has got a sparkle too, you know. Now I'm taking this bullet brush and I'm going under my eye with a brown eyeshadow that I use for my crease. Oh wait, nope, I lied. I'm taking that white top shade and I'm just applying it all underneath my eye. But you don't even have to do this step because I literally go over it with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and nope. Because the shade was not showing up as opaque as I would like. So at first I try taking my really, really white eyeshadow from the Stila palette, but still wasn't white enough. So now I'm taking that brown shade I used in my crease and that bullet brush, and I try to draw a little line like I did with the owl, but I switch to a eyeliner brush from Tokidoki, and that works way better. And I just drew a little bottom lash line like I did in the owl video. Okay, and now I fill in the rest of the eye with white. And I'm going to do my lashes and eyeliner off camera. Okay, so I added lashes. I darkened the bottom line with a eyebrow gel liner in brown. I added little lashes to the bottom of that eye. And I added a little wing in the inner corner of my eye to make the eye look bigger and almond shaped. So now that we've done that, we're going to take the Naked 2 palette and go all over the lid with the shade Blackout. And I'm doing this just to darken my eye before I add the liquid latex. Now I'm taking the Morphe palette and I'm taking that brown shade and contouring my nose. Now go crazy with the nose contour because you're a deer, you want your nose to stand out. So make sure your nose contour is really dark. but Make sure to blend it out as well. You want to have clean, even lines. Okay, and now I'm taking a bullet brush and that brown shade. And I am giving the nose contour some depth by adding a dark line down the edge of the contour. And I'm going to blend that out as well. Now I'm taking a black gel liner from Maybelline and I am drawing the nose. I looked at a lot of reference pictures before I drew out the nose and I think it turned out pretty cute. You can apply a black eyeshadow on top of the gel liner to keep it from smudging but I didn't just because this is a temporary look. Also make a little point at the bottom of the nose 
and on the sides of the nose. Now I'm just fixing the nose a little bit by dragging that color down all the way till it meets the gel liner. As well as cleaning up the edges where I made that dark line. And make sure to highlight your nose. I did do this, I just didn't record me doing this. So make sure you highlight the bridge of your nose to make it look whiter. Now I'm taking my ABH contour palette and I am going to town on my face and I'm taking those two shades and I'm making my face dark. Just go all over your forehead, cheeks, shoulders, neck, all of it. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk, and I'm going to draw little white dots all over my forehead and the sides of my cheeks, as well as go in with a liquid liner and draw tinier dots. Now I'm a beginner to liquid latex, that's the only reason why I didn't film me doing this part. There are a lot of tutorials to watch, I recommend Adelie. Now I'm just making little white dots all over my face. I'm going to contour my shoulders and my neck and add white dots as well. Now I'm taking my Naked 2 palette, going back over my eye and darkening up the black as well as putting black in between the little scars to kind of make my eye look bruised. Basically just put black wherever you feel like it needs to go because that's kind of what I did. I went in between the lines, underneath the lines, above my brow. And once you're done with that, add some fake blood. Now, I use zombie blood because I am an idiot and I bought the wrong kind. So, don't do what I do. Go out and actually get the real blood. The red, runny stuff. Not the black stuff that dries super quick on your face. So this is kind of cool too because it kind of gives it some dimension. So, I mean, get some zombie blood as a bonus. And now, just apply black lipstick to the top lip only. You can do a nude lipstick on the bottom lip, but I chose not to. And I'm just adding a little curve to my lips. Fix your ears and you are a injured deer. OMG, my eyebrows are gone. So I'm taking my ABH Modern Renaissance palette and I'm using the shade Red Ochre. And I'm taking this color and going all over my crease because I want it to be extra red. Now this doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be covered up mostly with black anyway, but I wanted a lot of red to kind of make it look more vampy. Now I'm taking my Naked 2 palette and taking the shade black out and putting it all over my lid and all into the crease. You can do this as messy as you want because you're a vampire, so you're supposed to be dead, so your makeup isn't going to be like on point. But you know I'm kind of a perfectionist so I kind of made it a little neater than I should have. I also brought that color down on my lower 
lash line and I also put it in the very inner corner of my eyes because I wanted my whole entire lid to be covered in black and be dark. Okay, now I'm taking a bullet brush and I'm just fixing the line at the bottom that I made with the blackout shade and just smoking it out a bit. Now I'm going back in with the shade Red Ochre and just going a lot farther out towards my temple than I normally would. And I'm also bringing that red down underneath my eyes to make my eyes look bruised because I'm going for the Vampire Diaries look, you know, with the veins and everything. So I want it to be extra bruised looking. And I just stipple the color on. I don't, you know, blend too much because I like the harsh lines that it leaves. If it's really, really noticeable, I'll like blend out a couple lines, but normally I just like would stipple the red on. Now I'm going back in with the black and darkening up even more. Bringing more red down, and now I'm taking a eyeliner brush or an angled brush and taking the love letter shade and I'm starting to make little veins. Now when you do this make sure that the lines are darkest towards the eye and are lighter as they go down your face because veins kind of fade in the skin. Remember we're going for the Vampire Diaries kind of look, you know, but with no eyebrows because I just feel like it gives it a little bit of an edge. Now I'm just repeating the same step on the other side. Also, if you make any mistakes, you can tap it out with your finger or get a beauty blender, go over it, and then redraw the line. Okay, now I take the blackout shade, I start to contour with it, but I end up blending it out with my beauty blender because it wouldn't blend properly. So then I go over that with the cool tone shade in my ABH contour kit, and I just contour with that. If you have a blendable gray or black eyeshadow, that would work way better because I don't want to make a warm toned vampire. You want to look super, super pale, super dead, but I go over it with black in a second. Okay, so... Still blending, still adding gray wherever I need it, or black wherever I need it. And I'm about to apply my lashes and my eyeliner, and I did this off camera because I suck at it, so sorry guys. Now I'm applying my ABH liquid lipstick and the shade Heather. Now I'm taking my Moonchild palette and I am using the shade Blue Ice because vampires got a sparkle like Edward Cullen. Okay? Okay. I should have added my highlight before I did the veins, but I didn't. So learn from my mistakes and highlight first and then add the veins. Add a neck wound and some blood and you're a vampire. Happy Halloween.